Today on the show, we are talking with Green Horizons owner, Zane Gray. And we have the Drink Pineapple Express, which is also the name they use for any tropical storm in the Pacific. Oh, I didn't know that. All this and more coming at you right here, right now on Talk 365 TV. And welcome back to Talk 365 TV. I'm Trip Mitchell. That's Holly Love. And I remember seeing the last Mission Impossible movie. Oh, I didn't tell you that this is what I wanted to talk about. And you're in my head, Trip Mitchell. I love that. This movie is... Have you seen it? Yes. Just saw it over the weekend. Okay. And Tom Cruise... So there is... Okay, I'm going to ask you a little trivia question. Okay. Do you remember the guy who used to do the oatmeal commercials? No. Wilford Brimley. I do, he's from Utah-ish. Yeah, I right? could be. But yeah. Wilford Brimley was the same age when he started doing the oatmeal commercials uh -huh. that Tom Cruise is now doing the Mission Impossible. Which is awesome. Okay. About uh, the world we live yes. in. But I want you to think about this. Okay. Wilford Brimley. What's yeah. he look like? Grandpa. Exactly. But he always looked like Grandpa, and that was his character, and he played into it kind of like, you know, how the Golden Girls... When they were the Golden Girls, like Estelle was younger than some of the ones that were the other Golden Girls, but they played up her age and made her look like the mom. So Tom Cruise is getting younger. He Whatever. is. That religion is... Really? I the swear one to God. of worshiping youth and uh, actually you're going to start worshiping that, which I have a huge announcement in segment four on that You know, for you. this is not happy. It so is. But, okay. it is not. We have... No, wait, I have to tell you this. Okay, so I have been prepping for Mission Impossible 2 with the girls. So Andy and the girls and I, we have been watching. We started with Mission 1, 2, 3, went to Ghost Protocol and the one right before where he's hanging off the thing. We're ready for it. Tom, we are ready for you. You get hotter with every one. And I have to say, the only one I didn't love was two. I felt like they kind of lost it a little bit, the vibe of Mission Impossible. But the rest of them, so, so much fun. I the other it. character that he's played in two of them is Jack Reacher, mm -hmm. which oh, Lee that Child. Good too. Jack Reacher is a great character. There are 20 books out there. I've read probably half of them. Lee Child, he's actually a British author. Very funny does a great job. But Jack Reacher, and the character is 6'5", 240. Oh, he's slightly smaller than that. He's 5'6". <laughs> tiny, tiny. Just flip that around then. <laughs> yeah. But he plays it so well, and, and he's done really a great job. And it shows in Hollywood how things can change. Because 10 years ago, there's a term in Hollywood, he couldn't get arrested. Tom Cruise couldn't get arrested after he jumped up on the couch and the Scientology. And uh -huh. he had he had, his career had fallen off a cliff. And now he's hotter than ever. It's because he took over the production role and he just buckled down and does what he does best, which is action movies. And he loves to do his own stunts. I think he's gotten in there and even in a stronger way, which if it you, just makes it that much better because you know he's in there doing this stuff. So when you see it, you, you everyone in the theater knows the one scene where he broke his ankle. You yeah. can see it coming. Yeah. But if you want to see the real Tom Cruise, who loves cars, watch Top Gear. And oh. just Google it. Um, Tom Cruise did a, an appearance on Top Gear, which is a British show. It's the biggest television show in, in the world. Lots more of money. viewers, more countries. But he did it with Cameron Diaz, and you can see how happy he was to drive cars. Uh -huh. And some great race car drivers said Paul, including Paul Newman, God love him, passed away a couple years ago, but he was could have been a professional race car driver. He said Tom Cruise had more talent than he did. Wow, Days so of Thunder. So Cruz and Cameron Diaz went over and drove for Top Gear. Uh -huh. And the happiness and the enthusiasm when you see them interviewed. Do you want to know a great movie to watch just as far as to find it either on Google Play or Netflix or wherever you can find it? Hulu? Uh, Day and Night. Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz. One of my favorite movies that wasn't huge. Not a lot of people know about it. So if you haven't seen it, look it up, watch it. You can thank me. Send me a Facebook note. Um, don't go anywhere. We will be right back with a little event news you can use right after this.